Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here and today Dead by Daylight tweeted out that they're going to have an advent calendar event to end this year. So let's check out this tweet here, it says, there's no stale chocolate in this advent calendar, log in each day starting December 1st for free currency and cosmetics. For more information on the advent calendar 2020 event and future events, check out our blog post here and when you click that link it takes you to the official Dead by Daylight website where they have this blog post that says Advent Calendar 2020. The season of giving is upon us in Dead by Daylight. Let's celebrate the holidays and the end of 2020 together with free cosmetics and currencies. Okay, let's spoil some of it right now. Get ready for updates to the ugly sweater collection. This Advent Calendar celebration is some jolly good fun. We're changing things up a bit with future events in Dead by Daylight. Check out the end of this post to see how. How will it work? Most days between December 1st, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until January 3rd, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will provide players with currency upon logging into Dead by Daylight. On top of that, a handful of cosmetic rewards will be available via redeem codes. These codes can only be used during their specified time periods. Make sure to check back here every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time for full information on what rewards are available that week. Codes will also be available via the in-game news on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern. That's pretty cool. So December 1st to January 3rd. The new cosmetics for the Ugly Sweater Collection will be made available via the in-game store after the holiday season we will communicate the exact date at a later point in time. So this sounds like if we log in, we'll be able to redeem codes for Ugly Sweater Collection for free. And then if we miss out, if we're unable to log in on the dates necessary, then we'll be able to buy the Ugly Sweaters in the shop down the road. That's what it sounds like to me. I think I'm interpreting that right. Future event news. If you're around for the previous winter events from 2017 and 2018, then you may notice a slight difference in this advent calendar from those previous events. There's a reason for this, and we'd like to talk about it a bit. Going forward, we will be contributing more effort towards our anniversary and Halloween-related events. These are our largest events where we love to bring the community together and really celebrate Dead by Daylight as a family. Beyond these two, others will be treated more as celebrations. We'll still be celebrating winter, Lunar New Year, etc., but we're taking new approaches to them to better define and focus our efforts on those larger ones. This means that you won't see any special event gameplay mechanics or earnable cosmetics for these celebrations, but you'll continue to see activations such as login rewards, blood web items, and themed assets. We've heard your feedback from the recent Eternal Blight event, and this plan is our first step towards working towards events that truly feel special by allowing us to focus on which events need the most effort. Happy Holidays, the Dead by Daylight team. Okay, so this is saying that we're not going to see things like the Summer Barbecue or the Lunar New Year event where we had in-game things to do, such as special hooks, um, lanterns to grab in the Lunar New Year event. They're just going to be probably strung with lights, paper lanterns, things like that and you won't have any in-game differences so that they can focus on anniversary event with like the, with the crown pedestals that we had this year and um, Eternal Blight, which is fair. I mean, if they need more time to work on specified events and just put window dressing up like strings of lights for the winter solstice, stuff like that, I'm okay with that. I know there was a lot of backlash over this Halloween event this year I could see where they were going with it, where they wanted to make all of the cosmetics um, purchasable with shards so that they would be long term that you could buy them through gameplay rather than short term play a bunch in a specified amount of time and earn them. But uh, yeah, that frankly went over like a fart in church. So uh, you can't say they're not listening. So they definitely have taken that feedback and decided to mix this up going forward. So this is going to be cool. I'm um, looking forward to this. So let's see. We might see Elodie get a sweater. 
Uh, Felix needs a sweater. Zarina needs a sweater. So probably we'll be able to get sweaters for those three through this advent calendar. If we do the daily logins and then if we miss out, you'll be able to buy those outfits in the store. Which is completely fair. So uh, obviously I'm going to keep on top of this and as we get more information about what's available when, I'll make sure to let you all know so that you can be sure to log in so that you don't miss out. But uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I like this daily login reward thing. So it should be fun. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Let me know, what do you all think about this advent calendar? Um, do you appreciate the fact that we're gonna be rewarded basically for logging in every day into the game? In some way, it looks like, whether it's either with cosmetic or probably blood points, in-game currencies, I guess it could be shards, we don't really know. But at the very least, it'll most likely be blood points. What do you think about this advent calendar idea? I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, can't wait for it to begin. We don't have long to wait, just about a week now. So happy holidays, everyone. Uh, if you live in the United States and you're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving tomorrow, I wish you all a happy and safe Thanksgiving. And this will be uh, a fun way in Dead by Daylight to um, round out the rest of the year. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, take care of one another in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.